Hi, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Mary, and I'm currently working in Mima office, uh, Mima city office, sorry. And I'm also a member of the Tokushima Mountain Turkey GS Pro Promotion Council. So I'm just starting from our introduction, uh, geographical introduction of, uh, of Nishawa area. So Nishawa area is actually, Nishawa region is actually located on Western Japan, as you can see from the picture. Uh, Nishi Awa's steep slope land agriculture system was recognized as World Agriculture Heritage Site in March 2018. The Nishi region has been affected by major fault in Japan and has experienced many landslides. In order to enable agriculture in the landslide area, the land has been farmed on the slope without artificial creating a level surface. In addition to producing a wide variety of agriculture products, they, um, they have also cultivated cash crops to sweet the time. Sustainable family farming that has been continued for 400 years created actually a very agriculture, agriculture culture. And then um, the slide that's just showing our geography of Nishiawa area. This is a, just a little introduction of us. And next slide. Um, in recent years, many tourists from both domestic and international tourists visit, visited us. They came to see and experience the life of the farmer in Nishiawa area a place with the old fashioned farming and mountain village, village landscape in the develop, developed country of Japan. Cultural experiences exchanged with these local farmers helped to re revitalize the region. So this picture on the slide showed you that we're just having a culture experiences with a tourist. Next slide. Um, sorry. Uh, and also, we there are various type of uh, countryside countryside staying at the farmer's house. First of all, there is the overnight exchange exchange experience program called educational travel. One of the purpose is to stay with the original family is Nishiawa region. So one of the feature of pro program is that host family welcome the students, not, not as a tourist, but also family members or relatives. While staying at the house, they experience agriculture and they cook together, engage in the culture exchanges. The host family is not for receiving the money income, sorry, but also a sense of purpose and pride in their li lives as a farmers. Um, in 2018, approximately 2,700 students visited us annually. There are about 40 farmer runs lodges in Nishiawa region where people can cook local dishes together and have cultural ex experiences. Um, so as you can see from the picture on the slide, um, they are also rented cottage renovated from vacant farmhouse. The renovation of farmhouse cottage was supervised by Alex Carr, a researcher of Eastern culture, who was impressed by culture of Ia region that is a part of um, part of Japan, that he owns one of the firm house himself. So you can on this space you can enjoy and relax, uh, and you can feel like all the time of Japan, and then also you, you can secure um, your privacy at the house. Next slide. Um, these are just an uh, just, just example of our tour conducting. 
um, guy, um, there are also many exchanging problems in the farmer that do not involve overnight stays. So you can you just see from the picture, we have two, like two tours. So these are like um, tours with the local farmers. Next one. Um, also, uh, our Nishiyama region have so many attractions. Um, there are so many attractive places. You can see from the picture on the slide, um, this is called Udatsu Townscape. In the ta town of Udatsu in Wakimachi, where the traditional Japanese townscape still remains. Visitors can try kimono, that is a Japanese um, traditional wear. And dye, you can also enjoy dye handcraft with indigo dye and make Japanese uh, traditional umbrellas. Next one, uh, we also, in addition to experience, experiences exchange program, the farmer are also focusing on making Serbinia. Since processed agriculture product and traditional handcraft can pro provide additional income for farmers, the government, government and um, also, we can help each other, both the side of government and also farmer, local farmers. So we actually like supporting together to make the, like souvenir or even like very special food by using, by utilizing the local food. Next um, so this slide sh actually showing that um, population of the tourists in Nishiyawa area. As you can see from the graph, there will be significant decline in the exchanging population due to COVID-19 in recent years. As you can see, um, there has been significant decline since 2020 because of COVID-19, as, as I mentioned. Farmers are also suffering from declining income, but this is not very serious situation because um, family farming in Nishiyawa region have diversified business, business. So we try to conduct um, like hygiene workshop with the local farmers in order to, in order to, after, sorry, after come back, um, after Corona buyers has finished. So uh, I'm on the, this, sorry about that. So this is um, not whole region. This is not about whole, whole region of Nishiawa area, Nishiawa. Um, this is just place for Ia region is part of Nishiawa area. And get me sorry. Um, so as a conclusion that, um, as a conclusion in promoting sustainable tourism policy, um, there is, there is in, in inevitable tendency for customer composition to be stronger than that of the visitor and the host sailor. So we want, we would like to conclude it all the visitor to visit our initial region has to take responsibility to consider environment. And also they have to have a respect to local residents as well. And we like to seek understanding and cooperation for sustainable tourism development. And this is all about our initial area. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs>